Another example, given the equation y plus 2 quantity squared equals negative 16 times x plus 3. Find the vertex, the focus, the directrix, the principal axis, and the endpoints of latus rectum. The value of h is negative 3. Remember, kung nasa ng x, nandun ang h, while k is negative 2. Since the equation is quadratic in y, and it is negative here, the parabola opens to the left. So this is the focus, endpoints of latus rectum, equation of the principal axis, and the equation of directrix. So letter A, the vertex is negative 3, negative 2, which is the value of h and k. Plot this point, and it is located here. Next, let us find the focus. Since 4p is equal to negative 16, we divide the equation by 4 to solve for p. So p is equal to negative 4. The focus is h plus p, then k. Substitute the value of h, k, and p. We have negative 3 plus negative 4, then negative 2. Simplify, multiply, positive times negative 4 is negative 4. So negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7, and just copy negative 2. Plot this point, negative 7, negative 2, which is here. Next is the directrix, which is x equals h minus p. This is equal to negative 3 minus negative 4. Multiply, negative times negative 4 is positive 4. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. So the directrix is the line x equals 1. Draw a vertical line and we now have our directrix. The principal axis is the line y equals k, which is equal to negative 2. And y equals negative 2 is located here. Just draw a horizontal line. And this is the axis of symmetry or principal axis of the parabola. Now, to determine the endpoints of latus rectum, we use h plus p, then k plus 2p, and h plus p, then k minus 2p. Substitute the value of h, k, and p. So we have here negative 3 plus negative 4, then negative 2 plus 2 times negative 4. Let us first multiply the signs. Positive times negative 4 is negative 4, and positive 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Then here, we have negative 3 plus negative 4, then negative 2 minus 2 times negative 4. Positive times negative 4 is negative 4, and negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Simplify. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7, then negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10. Again, Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7, while negative 2 plus 8 is positive 6. So these are the endpoints of latus rectum. If we're going to plot these points, negative 7, negative 10 is located here, while negative 7, 6 is located here. Connect these points and we now have the graph of y plus 2 quantity squared equals negative 16 times x plus 3. Number 4, the equation is y plus 2 quantity squared equals 1 half times x. Let us also find the vertex, the focus, the directrix, the principal axis, and the endpoints of latus rectum. In this problem, h is 0. As you can see, x lang siya dito. That is why h is equal to 0, while k is equal to negative 2. Since the equation is also quadratic in y, but this time, positive na ang value dito. Therefore, this is parabola opening to the right. So ito pa rin ang gagamitin natin. The vertex is at 0, negative 2. And it is located here. To find the focus, we first have to find the value of p. In the given equation, 4p is equal to 1 half. Divide by 4, so p is equal to 1 half times reciprocal of 4, which is 1 fourth. 
We copy the numerator, then change the operation from division to multiplication and find the reciprocal of denominator. So 1 half times 1 fourth is equal to 1 over 8. Therefore, the focus is h plus p then k, which is 0 plus 1 over 8 then negative 2. 0 plus 1 over 8 is 1 over 8 and copy negative 2. To plot this point, take note that 1 over 8 is equal to 0 0.125. 0 0.125 negative 2 is located here. Next, is the directrix which is x equals h minus p and this is equal to 0 minus 1 over 8. 0 minus 1 over 8 is equal to negative 1 over 8. Take note that 1 over 8 is equal to 0 0.125 so negative 1 over 8 or negative 0.125 is located here and this is a vertical line. Then the principal axis, which is y equals k, or y equals negative 2. y equals negative 2 is located here. Draw a horizontal line, and we now have the principal axis. While the endpoints of latus rectum are h plus p, then k plus 2p, and h plus p, then k minus 2p. Replace h, k, and p with 0, negative 2, and 1 over 8, respectively. So 0 plus 1 over 8 is 1 over 8. Then let's first copy negative 2 plus and multiply 2 and 1 over 8, which is equal to 2 over 8. Here, 0 plus 1 over 8 is 1 over 8 and copy negative 2 minus and multiply 2 and 1 over 8, which is 2 over 8. Copy 1 over 8 and simplify negative 2 plus 2 over 8 is negative 14 over 8. 8 times negative 2 is negative 16 and negative 16 plus 2 is negative 14 and just copy the denominator 8. Similarly, we copy 1 over 8 and simplify negative 2 minus 2 over 8 is negative 18 over 8. 8 times negative 2 is negative 16 negative 16 minus 2 is negative 18 over the denominator which is 8. We can still reduce negative 14 over 8 and negative 18 over 8 in its lowest form by dividing the numerator and denominator by 2. So we have negative 7 over 4 and negative 9 over 4. Negative 14 divided 2 is negative 7 and 8 divided 2 is 4, while negative 18 divided 2 is negative 9 and 8 divided 2 is 4. So the endpoints of latus rectum are 1 over 8, negative 7 over 4, and 1 over 8, negative 9 over 4. And these are equal to 0 0.125, negative 1.75, and 0 0.125, negative 2.25 in decimal. Let us plot these points. First, locate 0 0.125, negative 1.75. is here and negative 1.75 is here, between negative 1.5 and negative 2 while 0.125 and negative 2.25 is located here. Negative 2.25 is between negative 2 and negative 2.5. Connect these points and this is now the graph of the parabola y plus 2 quantity squared equals 1 half times x. Let us have another example. Determine the standard equation of the parabola given by x squared minus 4x minus 8y minus 28 equals 0 and find the vertex, the focus, the directrix, the principal axis, and the endpoints of latus rectum. Now to determine the following, we first have to express this general equation to its standard form by completing the square. Remember the circle, we complete the square in x and y. But dito sa parabola, we should complete the square either in x or y, depending kung ano yung quadratic. If it is quadratic in x, we complete the square in x. And if it's quadratic in y, we complete the square in y. In this problem, the equation is quadratic in x. 
So we should complete the square in x. First, we transpose all terms not containing x to the right-hand side of the equation and complete the square on the left side of the equation for x. So we have x squared minus 4x on the left side of the equation equals 8y plus 28. Since it is quadratic in x, we transpose terms not containing x to the other side of the equation. Kaya from negative 8y to positive 8y and negative 28 to positive 28. We can now complete the square in x. And how do we complete the square? We add or subtract the square of half the coefficient of x or y to both sides of the equation, then factor the expression. Now to complete the square in x, since x is quadratic, we take half the coefficient of x and square it. In this case, the coefficient of x is negative 4, and half of negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 4 divided 2 is negative 2. Square negative 2, so we have positive 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Equals, we just copy 8y plus 28. And do not forget to add this value to the other side. Whatever you add on the left side, you must add it on the right side. Then, let's factor the left side. Remember our technique? We write here just half the coefficient of x. Since the coefficient of x is negative 4, divided by 2, we have negative 2. Equals, we copy 8y and combine the constant terms. 28 plus 4 is 32. Sa standard equation ni parabola, dapat nasa loob ang x or y. So dito, we should factor out positive 8 para nasa loob na ng parenthesis ang y. At itong value na ito ay i-divide din natin sa 8 since we factor out positive 8. So positive 32 divide positive 8 is positive 4. 8 times y is 8y and 8 times 4 is 32. And this is now the standard equation of the parabola. Since it is quadratic in x, and it is positive here, this is parabola opening upward. And we're gonna use these values to determine the focus, endpoints, principal axis, and directrix. The vertex is at 2, negative 4. h is equal to 2, and k is equal to negative 4. To determine the focus, we need the value of p. In the equation, 4p is equal to 8. To solve for p, divide the equation by 4. So p is equal to 2. 8 divided 4 is 2. So the focus is 2, then negative 4 plus 2. And this is equal to 2, negative 2. We copy 2 and simplify negative 4 plus 2, which is equal to negative 2. The directrex is y equals k minus p, which is negative 4 minus 2. And negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Then, the principal axis, which is x equals h, or x equals 2. Then, the endpoints, we use h plus and minus 2p, then k plus p. This means, ang isa ia-add sa 2p at yung isa is a subtract. Substitute the value of h, which is 2, k equals negative 4, and p equals 2. So 2 plus 2 times 2 is 4, then let's copy negative 4 plus 2. Here, 2 minus 2 times 2 is 4, and we also copy negative 4 plus 2. Simplify, 2 plus 4 is 6, while negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Then, 2 minus 4 is negative 2, while negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. And these are the endpoints of Lato's rectum. So if the given equation is in general form, we have to express it in standard form by completing the square either in x or y.